Okay, this is a little um, preview of what my um, battery backup system is all about. So these are the cells I first started off with. I bought them on eBay and I had probably about 40% more of them. But they were old stock, so some of them were not good. So after I hooked them all up into these arrays, um, these packs, I had to redo them all again. So if you look here, you can see where I built a soldering system to solder these on. All right, so each one of these packs here is 3.3 volts. So these are lithium ion phosphate cells. And I put them together in packs of eight. So this gives me approximately about 26 volts nominal. And this is what I started off with first. Then I also had some headway cells, which was over here. And... Um, these are currently taken out because I need to do some work on them. Uh, over here, I bought some cells which are from China. These are also 26.5 volts. These are pouch cells, iron phosphate. They're 24 volts, 100 ampere hours. And here's another one. Right now, it's 83% charged. I also have these batteries that came off of a bus there's three of them and they all connected in parallel over here all right they all have bms's which i installed all right that's these here these are the bms's and these are the gauges let me know what's going on with them you could also give me an idea of what's going on with the cells. Let's try this one. There we go. Okay, after that, I also purchased these recently from a site called Battery Hookup. So I have four here, and I have another four under here, which are also these large cells. So all together, I think I have about, maybe about 20 kilowatts, which would probably give me about a half a day's use, but using the AC and a whole day use using the, um, without using air conditioning, right? Over here, I have, uh, automatic transfer switch that allows if it I have it set that if it goes below a certain voltage it automatically switches over to house current or shore current um, currently I have this inverter here which is a 500 watt inverter that powers all of my uh, Wi-Fi access points in the house and my router it uses about 98 to about 105 watts continuous all right, over here, I have a whole house inverter that goes from 24 volts to 240 volts, which allows me to run things like the water pump, uh, the well pump, the air conditioner, um, even the water heater, which is a hybrid water heater. It's a heat pump water heater. There it is over there. It uses about 75 to 80% less power than a regular electric water heater. Over here, I have a backup sine wave inverter, which gives me 6,000 watt. It goes from 24 volts and outputs 120 volts, which allows me to run fridges in the event that this one stops working. All right, over here, I have a charger. So this, I could take my Honda EU2000i generators and I can charge. It's designed for lithium ion phosphate. I could charge it up to 29.2 volts, right? And it gives me uh, 20 amps maximum which is perfect because that's what the generator would provide. All right, I have switches here to disconnect everything. The switches to disconnect the solar. 
I also have a MPPT charge controller that connects to eight 100 watt solar panels outside. It's not enough to fully charge a system on a day, but I could also use my generator to do that. In the back here, I have a transfer switch that allows me to hook up a generator to run critical loads like the fridge and certain lights in the house and some fans. Um, I think that covers it. Let me show you my solar panels outside. Here I have four panels which are actually designed to act as a roof to keep the water off this door. And I also have another four panels over here. That also provide power. So I have 800 watts maximum. I, the most I've ever received out of these panels was about 650 watts maximum on a really good day. Um, they never give you the rated output. But it's sufficient enough to keep my um, system running, especially with the, the Wi-Fi system and so on. So I think that covers it. Um, right, I also have a temperature gauge here that allows me to check remotely what the temperature in the garage is. And um, I think that covers it. Everything goes into this connection and this. And from here it splits out to these four odd wires to provide power for this system. Right, it's a bit of a hodgepodge. I have an Anderson connection connector here that connects to these batteries over here. And um, so I think I'll be okay in the event of a hurricane or a major power outage. I should be able to run all my critical loads during the night without running a generator. And during the day, I could charge it up with this unit, this battery charger. Um, yeah, that's it.